Hi, we're the girls from Kuklos Cuisina. I'm Joanne. I'm Jackie. And I'm Kelly. And we're continuing our week of healing foods. And so now what we're working on is anise. Anise has a really deep healing quality. It's been used for centuries as a digestive. It helps colicky babies with their gas. If you have an upset stomach, you can brew this wonderful spice. And right now we're taking some of our anise and you add it you want to add it to uh, some boiling water so what we do with this is it's a flavorful way and a healthy way to make bread you would make your bread and add about a quarter cup of water that's been brewing for about four minutes with the anise and then you're going to strain it and add that liquid to your bread and it really adds a nice aromatic quality oh, yeah. as well as making it healthy for you right um, for when we do it for, for babies for colicky, again, we brew it into a tea with a cup of water. So we use about a teaspoon of anise in a cup of water. And of course, let it cool. You don't want yeah. to give a baby anything really hot. You want it to be just warm to the touch. Um, just like whatever temperature you use for the warm milk that you give to the baby, you're going to do the same with this. But of course, and, always check with your pediatrician. Yes. So don't just give anybody anything without checking. And grown-ups can also have this as a tea. The wonderful thing that I love about this is if you're, let's say you're having tea at night and you want to add sugar or honey, but you're afraid it's going to keep you awake, that the sweet sweetener is going to keep you awake. Well, if you add a little bit of anise to the water and brew it, it has a natural sweetness to it. So you can omit adding any honey or sugar and make whatever tea you like and brew the anise with it and then strain it and you've got a wonderful tea that's already sweetened naturally. Or you can give it anise tea. Yeah, I just, yeah. you can drink anise tea. You can actually yeah. even buy it in tea bags now. Mm -hmm. You can find it in a Mediterranean store, mm -hmm. um, down a story of course, you know, they, they have it there. I've been giving it to Jackie for years. Every time she has a little bit of an upset stomach, we brew some anise and she drinks it up and it really helps. Mm -hmm. I think we're done here. Can you smell it? Is it aromatic? Wow. Potent, huh? It is potent. <laughs> no, it was just the steam. And so now we're going to strain it. Obviously, to get the seeds out. So you see that the liquid has a nice golden color to it. And then you can cool that down to lukewarm and add it to your bread mixes and work in that little extra bit of flavor. Yeah. Um, and again, if you want to have it as a tea to drink on its own, do a cup of water and brew the tea and you're good to go. So good health to you with some anise. Good health to you.